Good evening, folks. We have come upon that time of the spring in the north when the uppermost jet patterns on Earth shift hemispheres. As you may know, the polar vortex is strong in the polar winter and dissipates in summer. The shift is always somewhat gradual, but there comes a time around the equinox twice a year that the power definitively shifts. So right now we are coming out of northern winter, but in the south, we're heading towards it. So we should be expecting to see the south overtaking the north in power around now. And that is indeed exactly what we see as we come up to the stratosphere and find the North Pole having much of its vortex dissipated, especially after that sudden stratospheric warming event earlier this year. This makes it very easy to see that the south polar vortex is now definitively stronger and is strengthening by the day. The south vortex has indeed become the more powerful one and will remain that way for about six months. For some perspective, let's jump back to January in the middle of northern winter and see that the south, where it was summertime, the vortex was weak and virtually dissipated. So then, let's go find the northern vortex and remember how easily it was dominant over the south in the middle of the northern winter. So, now let's go six months earlier to June 2017 to see where these vortices are heading in the next few months. Indeed, the north can be expected to be even weaker than it is right now, which is shown again bottom right to show how much further we do have to go downward. Meanwhile, let's look at the south, and it is expected to be much stronger in a few months. It will utterly dwarf the vortex we see forming now, which again is in the bottom right of your screen. A last note, if the Arctic stays warmer than average and solar activity stays low, you can bet on jet stream blocking in the northern hemisphere in the coming months. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the morning. Be safe, everyone.